Hey guys, Michael from Kaka Chemistry. In this video, we'll be going over how to calculate the delta S or the change in entropy of a reaction. There are many different ways. I'll just show you one one technique in this video, and then in subsequent video, I'll show you other techniques to make it to 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 keep the video short and, and to keep it simple. So first, we'll take a look at the equation. The equation to calculate the the change in the entropy delta S, the change in S of a reaction is just the sum of the S of products minus the sum of the S of the reactants, the change in entropy. The sum of the entropy of products minus the sum of the entropy of the reactants. Of course, this means that you would have to be given the entropy values of the products and reactants because you're not expected to know any of these. And so typically you'll be given a table that looks something like this where you have the species, the reactants, the products, and then you'll have the S values. Often you'll also be given the G and the H values. So let's take a look at two example problems where we calculate the change of S of a reaction. In this first one, we have this chemical reaction. The first thing we should check since there's no coefficients is, is this reaction balanced. And uh, if just double checking, we have two C's on the left, two C's on the right, four H's on the left, and 4H is on the right, so this reaction is balanced. And then we have to calculate the delta S or the change entropy of the reaction. So we're going to start by with the equation, the products minus reactants. So let's start with the uh, sum of the products. So we have one, we do have to take into account the coefficient. We have one of the C2H4. We're going to multiply by the C2H4 value. We're going to be using just the S, so we'll be paying attention to this column over here. So it'll be one times the C2H4 S value which you can see is 219.4. And that's it for the sum of the products. Now we're gonna minus the sum of the reactants. I'm using brackets here so I could group all the products together and all the reactants together. We have one times the value of the C2H2, which is 200.8 plus one times the value of H2, which is 130.58. Great, now let's enter this in the calculator. I'm gonna pull up a Google calculator and show you how this is done. So we'll first do um, one, one times 219.4. That's gonna be the sum of the products minus the sum of the react. That's gonna use the parentheses as the brackets. One times 200.8, whoops, plus one times 130.58. And then that gives us negative 111.98. So that means that the answer for this question is going to be D, just rounded to negative 112. Let's just make sure this makes sense. We're going to, we have two moles of gas that's becoming one mole of gas. So since you have a decrease in the number of moles of gas, there's going to be a decrease in the disorder, the randomness, the chaos, which is essentially what S is. So we expect there to be a decrease in S, and that's represented with a negative delta, or uh, negative S. Great, let's move on to the next question. So this next one is pretty similar to the last one. We have a balanced chemical reaction as indicated by the coefficients, and we have to calculate the delta S. And we have the uh, values of the products and reactants. So once again, let's just do sum of products minus sum of reactants. We'll start with the brackets to enclose the, the sum of the products. We have four CO2 multiply the value of each CO2, which is 213.6, plus 2 times the value of H2O liquid, which is 69.91. And that's going to be it for the sum of the products. Now minus the sum of the reactants. 2 times the value of C2H2, which is 200.8, plus 5 times the value of O2, which is 205.0. Now let's pull up the Google calculator and enter that in and see what we get. So we'll start with the parentheses for the products, four times 213.6 plus two times 69.91. And then we're gonna minus another parentheses for the sum of the reactants, two times 200.8 plus five times 205.0, close parentheses, and I click enter, and then that gives us negative 432.38, and the closest answer to that is negative 432.4. So the units for the delta S, the change in the entropy of the reaction, is typically gonna be in joules per Kelvin. 
And that's one technique that you can use to calculate the change in entropy, the change in S of a reaction, of the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.